can women preach and prophesy? One final valley of decision that God has shown me in 2024 will be the choice we all must make regarding whether to support or criticize what he is going to do with his daughters in the global church. While we recognize the importance of gender distinctions in the body and the importance of male leadership, it is essential that women too are fully released to fulfill their callings. There is a tremendous anointing that God has shown me to preach and prophesy that is resting on women in 2024. Gather, 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 says the Lord. Do not delay nor deny my voice in your midst, for you will ha not have another conference, but you will host a holy convocation. I saw convention centers full of women hosting outpourings of the Holy Spirit. Women shall rise to places and positions of prominence in their nations in every sphere of society in 2024. I saw a major shift take place in the evangelical world concerning whether women can preach and prophesy. Like a mass exodus, religious chains of bondage will be broken that have sought to sideline and silence women for decades. In America, I saw a war between a demonic spirit of radical feminism and the spirit of Esther and Deborah. This demonic spirit of radical feminism was raging in the streets of America, rejoicing in the choice to kill her children and engaging in all kinds of immorality and perversion. Coming to confront this demonic spirit of feminism in America were righteous women who walked in the anointing of Deborah and Esther. These women are warriors who are mantled for intercession contend for life, and have healthy marriages and families. God said to me, I must have my Mordecai's rise in 2024 to support and not criticize my daughters. I am looking for godly men who are willing to support and recognize the special anointing I am placing on women in this hour. One of the things that I love is that we don't have to put down men to support women. Neither do we have to put down women to support men. With all of that being said, what I am seeing prophetically is a tremendous supernatural anointing resting on women in 2024. And I'm seeing a clash I'm seeing a collision. I'm seeing a demonic, radical, feminist spirit rage in America concerning abortion, sexual immorality, and perversion. It's going to ri rise in America. And what and who is going to confront this demonic, radical, feminist, call it Jezebel if you want, but there's going to be women with an Esther and Deborah anointing that are going to rise in America and that are going to preach and prophesy a, about a return to biblical moral values. God is also calling on men like he did in the days of Esther with Mordecai. We know that Mordecai supported, Mordecai encouraged, Mordecai gave wisdom to Esther as she fought for a nation. And I believe God is going to raise up men, modern day Mordecais, who are going to support and encourage and give wise counsel to many mighty women that God is going to raise up in 2024.